<laughs> well, welcome back, Chris. Thanks for oh, coming thank back. thank you. So today I wanted to talk about fear. <sighs> what the hell are we doing? It's a substantial part of climbing, yeah. yeah. But it also depends on the person. I think the fundamental thing it comes down to is exposure yeah. to fear and what you've gone through in your life, basically. Yeah. In 2019, I slipped a disc in my back oh, and yeah, I yeah, yeah. very nearly cancelled my climbing membership. Yeah. The older you are, you're more likely to have pre-existing conditions or problems with your body somewhere mm. and you don't want to hurt yourself mm. I don't want to lose any more time I want to climb every day every week from now until well for as long as I'm here mm. but basically on the one hand having fear can stop you getting injured but it also seems to slow the progress whereas if you have less fear and you go for it you can do a lot more and so you can progress faster. And my son started at the same time as me. He has a different attitude because he's a lot younger and he had less fear. And you can see that because he is now climbing V9, 10, trying to climb V11s. Yeah. As yeah. opposed to me climbing V2s, V3s, trying V4s. It's a big difference. Obviously, yeah, if you're a younger climber, maybe the learning process and the development of the body is so much faster that you get to such a higher level so much quicker whereas if you start climbing later in your life it's a slower ramp up in like yeah how your body adapts to the sport so one thing that some people will say is fall off more have less fear get mm. used to falling i don't totally trust my body mm. i don't really want to fall off more i've learned how to fall true falls where i didn't know i was going to fall probably had maybe three or four in five years i'm quite happy not taking that risk having 10 percent of your brain anticipating an unexpected fall can help yeah i've never done that but mm. i should start so i do suffer from fear a lot but i don't want it to stop my progress Part of me thinks to get over the fear of heights, I need to just climb high things that are very easy, and then to be less scared of falling, but yet push myself. I've been starting to try more before V5 climbs, but over mm. the font area, because yeah, it's Yeah, at a lower height wall, yeah. Got less of, less of an impact if you were to fall off. Yeah, I think a big part of it is just exposure. Yeah. Have you seen Free Solo, of course, <laughs> yes, yeah, yes, with yes, Alex yes. Honnold? Yeah. Exactly. There was a part exactly. in that where they measured his response to fear and different scenarios and fear scenarios and there was little to no activation in his brain <laughs> so throughout his life he's exposed himself to those scenarios so much that it's just basically numbed his brain i think the most important thing when dealing with fear is to analyze the situation and see whether the fear is justified and you should be listening to it mm. and saying, if I fall, is this going to be a bad situation? Could I land badly? Am I likely to fall? Or is it not justified? And am I just mentally scared, even though I'm standing on something completely solid mm. and I'm not going to go anywhere? Mm. Looking back on yourself in video format, you realise that, oh, just looks a bit silly being scared there from a different perspective. Whereas in the moment, you're right up against the wall. Sometimes you don't have that judgment yes. to look around you. Yeah. It's finding those moments on the climb where you can relax and, yeah. and breathe. Yeah. <laughs> Breathing is a big part, yeah. Have you ever felt fear on the wall? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Usually climbing at the limit, more so on slab than anything else. Yes. As I'm sure a lot of people find <laughs> that risk of like sliding down and hitting everything on the way down. <laughs> I'm sure that goes through every climber's mind. I'm when laughing, they look at the slab. I'm not, I, on the inside I'm not laughing. Yeah. <laughs> what do you recommend? We could warm up on some easier climbs, but putting ourselves into those potentially fearful situations to warm up our sort of fear factor. So. <gasps> I haven't done that one. Permaset V2, I that's haven't. quite it's good. It's on my list. Yeah, and it's on a small slab. Oh, I have tried it and I couldn't do it. I got scared. Yeah. How did you know? <laughs> and no volumes. No volumes? No volumes. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. Yeah, nice. Oh, there's nowhere to go from here. That's one. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, nice, nice. No, I can't reach. No, this is tiny. 
Do you trust that? It's a good foot, yes. Yeah, it's, it's I can't. A flat foot. That's going to slide. There's nothing to hold on to. You might just need to rock onto it and then stand up on it to the last hold. I haven't got the strength to do that. <laughs> It's tricky. Because it's a slab, I didn't panic and I could take my time, but I didn't see a way of doing that. It's a pretty thin foothold. Let's have a go. I'm suspecting it's just trusting that foot, adjusting your foot position to make use of that foot as best as you can. So probably like inside edge. The rest of it looked good though. Ooh, it's very thin, isn't it? Exactly. Okay, maybe outside edge. Okay. Normally you would just reach up, but I'm not letting you, because I can't. <sighs> <laughs> Wasn't that trickier than you thought it would be, Chris? It's a bit scarier than I thought, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the right half of the hold is a little bit thicker. Okay. So I put the um, outside edge of my left foot so okay. you can flag yeah. down here okay and twist the left side of your body towards the last hold when you're on this hold you can use your elbow against the wall okay. just, just to stabilize a little bit yeah push yourself more over that's it nice good rock over that's it yeah Foot swap. Oh, this isn't good. Yeah, it's good for one way up. I might fall. Yeah, no, you're good, you're good. It's a good foot. I have to just go for it, there's nothing behind me. Yep. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Yeah, nice. Oh my God. Michelle. <laughs> Good oh, job. Palming down was much easier than putting. Yeah, yeah, it keeps the left side of your body in, doesn't it? Good job. <laughs> <laughs> I would never have done that in a million years if you weren't here. Yeah. I mean that. Yeah, I could tell. Yeah, like it, you really pushed yourself. Yeah. yeah to get the last move. Don't know what you've got in mind, but. Let's move on. Let's have a look at something else. That was the V2. <laughs> yeah, this green round the corner. I've not done this green, I couldn't start it's, it. It's pretty good fun. This one I did try the other day, I couldn't do the start. Is this one of yours? It is, this is one I set, yeah. <laughs> oh, you think you can coach me through it? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I think it's not as bad <laughs> as it looks. It is a run-up, isn't it? Yeah, if you can't statically reach that, then... Not a hope. I would go right foot on the wall or yep. on, onto here. Okay. That's it, yeah, it's a good first try. One, two. Yeah, nice. Maybe throw your arms up to it. Try and get quite a lot of jump from the ground, maybe. I'll be a lot lower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was best so far. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I go both hands. Ooh. I'm like that still. I need to get over my knee. And I'm not committing into the wall. It's just trying different variations. That looked good. Oh yeah, come on. Oh yeah, <laughs> that was one hand on. It's a lot of work though, isn't it? Going back and forth. Oh, oh no, I'm not I'm reaching like that. I need to reach like that. Throw both hands up. Yeah, nice. There you go. There you go. <gasps> did it. I did it. That's it. Like last week, the first move is all I need. All right, do you want me to help talk you through the rest yes. of it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can go that way. Yep. It, smear oh. along and then right foot. Now big rock over. Pull yourself into the corner. That's it. And get right over. That's it. Keep, just keep it flat to the wall as possible. Yeah, good. Oh. If you can reach the arete, you can use that maybe. I can't. That's it. Oh. Good arete. I'm exhausted. You were jumping <laughs> to get out of me. Yeah, I mean you were jumping for like, yeah, a minute straight. I can't believe I did it. I'm really yeah. happy. Yeah, it's awesome. So I was going to say, there are two different ways of doing this. You, you can go underneath as you did, yeah, and under here and get the big rock over. Or you can go up and then over the top. So you'll be standing on this, mm. which adds another move over here. Shall I show you what I mean? Yeah. I'll show you yeah, the, inten the intended beta. Oh, so the one below isn't intended? Uh, maybe not. It's, okay. it's an emergent beta. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably about the same grade as going above. 
Yeah. Because it's quite a lot of smearing and then a big rock over. Yeah. yeah which is about V3. So you get left hand up to here. Okay. And, and you get high enough to turn the right hand into a press. Okay. So you get onto these and then you go right foot. Oh. And then you turn both into a press and get the left foot up onto here. Because you're on a slab. Yes. You can lean forward and go no hands. And then work your way along. So now you're on top of the okay. of the ledge hold from up here basically. Step through and then it's funny though, the next move is a down down step. Oh. So you have to kind of look where your foot's going and then look the other way and, and feel with your foot. Okay. I can kind of see it now. Yeah. And you should be able to reach this for a bit of safety. And then the rest is fine. Yeah, that bit looks okay. You can use the white to get onto the start position. You know you can do the first move. Yeah, that's it, yeah. So, this nice. is where I've got to. Yeah. Yeah, adjust the body position. Yeah, good, 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 good. Very good. Bring your right um, foot in a little bit closer. Um, falling. That's it, yeah. Oh, I'm shaking. I can't reach. And the next next position is getting your left foot up onto that big one, so it's a, oh. it's a press. I might fall. You're okay, you're on a really good slab. Yeah, just stay close to the wall and you'll be fine. I love the knee. <laughs> <laughs> it's all I have. It's good. Oh, this is scary. You're I okay. can't get up You're from okay. here. I've got no hands on the... Yeah, you okay. That's it. Just focus on the angle of wall and staying close to that. Oh, very nice. Very nice. There you go. All right, you're good now. You're good now. Oh my god. This move is all about keeping that central line of balance. It's a long way down. I might fall back. You're okay. Oh, I'm, you can use I'm an extra out. I'm gonna try again. Yeah. I can't see where I'm going. Can you guide me? Yeah, it's pretty much straight down. A little bit to the left. I think there's another way of doing this, you know. Nope. I'm gonna try and reach round. Trying to cheat the beta. Yes. I love it. I'm holding the white. I'm that's holding okay. the white. Yeah, yeah, just to practice the oh. move and get a feel. No, that's a fall. I think if I did that, I'd fall backward. But that makes it super scary. So it's that drop move I haven't done yet. Mm. Can't see my feet. Can't see my feet. Oh, what am I doing? You're good. You're good. Oh, great. No more holes. Oh, there's one more there. Yeah, nice. Beep. There you go. Yay. Awesome. Well done. <laughs> I think the only thing I completely cheated on was this drop down, but that's such a big drop. I know I, I'm never going to do that. Not without practicing it. Is there somewhere I can practice that move lower down? What, the step down? Yeah. I'm stepping down to my death. Can we just step down to a nice soft <laughs> mat? <laughs> you can make up that move. Yeah, let's yeah, do somewhere that. Somewhere else on the Should wall. We do that? That height, I would be happy if I could drop down that far. Yeah, I agree, because that move kind of increases the fear factor at that, yeah. that height. Maybe more on this corner. You could try that. Yeah. That's quite good. Okay, I'll give it a go. The foot below is blind. Yeah. Which forces you to focus on the line of balance and feeling with your feet. Same principle. Same principle. It's not as far by a long way, but it's. And you're only. I, yeah, I'd rather do it. I'd rather do an easy version yeah. than a hard version to start with. Hand on each side of the, of the wall. Yeah, be right. Yeah. Oh, it's blind. I can't see anything, but I know it's there. All oh, that hit. Oh, there. I got it. I got yeah. it. That angle there. That's a limit of my strength. That that's burning my thighs. So balance over my left leg. Slowly go down. Feel the wall. Ah. Oh. Relief when you get it. <laughs> uh, one leg. Okay. Good. Show you off. Right, let's go do it. Okay. So, I was here. Yeah. I'm going to be there. Yeah. And I'm going to keep my weight more. That's it. 
Wow. That felt a lot better because we practiced mm. it. Mm. And my leg is still horizontal. So I'm going to keep my hands on these holes, mm. but try not to use them. Mm. Get my foot over the hole. We call this like a working jug, something that you can just grab onto and using like, these really good other colour holds as safety nets, yeah. reducing the fear factor. <sighs> I'm using it. Yeah, yeah. Keep hips, chest and head as close to the corner of the arete as possible. I can't, I'm, I'm out of energy on this thigh now. Yeah, that's oh. yeah, true, true, yeah. It's like a reverse pistol squat, isn't yeah. it? It's lowering yourself yeah, with, and with negative. stability. Do you know what? I think my leg will be stronger when I come back in three days. Mm -hmm. It's definitely within your capability. Do you feel it's now become more of a physical challenge and balance challenge rather than fear? Oh, yes. Good. Yes. <laughs> and that's, that's the key, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. First try was majorly fear yeah the drop was immensely scary now it's mm. a physical limitation was mm. that because it was an unknown that you've never done that yeah. kind of move before yeah yeah there you go yeah that's so it you want to test it gradually first yeah which is what we did at different heights and, and drops yeah. exactly well thank you so much chris yeah Next time. no worries that was really good fun <laughs>